down to the main part of town now. I'm going to find an ATM and get a ride over to the Monkey Mountain Trailhead. Let's go. Central Plaza, Iguera Blanca, small town south of Sayulita, and the trailhead to the Monkey Mountain is this way. So that taxi from Sayulita to here, Iguera Blanca, where the trailhead to Monkey Mountain is, is was uh, 300 Mexican pesos, 15 bucks. Seemed a little high, but I haggled with the guy and he wouldn't budge, so just had to pay it. There are buses that come here, but I couldn't find the bus, so I took the cab. The Uber was not functioning either. Anyway, we continue. This way. <laughs> directions of a guy on the road and he said to come this way and you hit the concrete you go right for three minutes then you hit another fork and you go right again then he said a lot of things in Spanish I didn't understand so we'll see if I can make it so I believe this is the right turn based on my research. Right there, Cerro del Mono, the Monkey Mountain. So, let's cut right through there and continue on. Our Ubers have arrived. Found a viewpoint, hopefully halfway to the Monkey Mountain. It's Punta Mita over there. Possibly the Marietas Islands. Some kind of island. After about 15 minutes, we came upon this rock. It says the Monkey Mountain is that way. Don't go that way where it says no. You go this way where it says monkey. <laughs>
same thing, but for much higher up in the air. And we continue. was the most technical part of the climb brief little rock scramble took an hour to get here from the plaza in Iguera Blanca and the top is just around the corner Guys, check out this view. All the way to Punta Mita and around. Somewhere over there is Sayulita. Most likely right there. So it took about an hour and eight minutes to get up here to Monkey Mountain from somewhere down there. Coming around somewhere over there. This way more or less. Then like this, then like this. And then somehow around the summit and up these rocks. And to this view. On the bus to Punta Mita from Iwera Blanca. Well, I hopped off that bus from Huera Blanca. Now I'm here in Punta Mita, walking into town, going to see if I can find a place to book a tour to the uh, Marietas Islands for a few days from now. We'll see how it goes. So I managed to find a Tour booking place, Riviera Mita Tours, for a hundred dollars a person, about two thousand pesos. It's a three-hour tour out to the Islas Marietas, into the secret beach, and it has some snorkeling and some other beaches. Should be a good time. I booked ahead of time. I've heard that they book up uh, a little early. Today is Tuesday. I booked a a trip for Friday. I'll spend the rest of the time in Sayulita and then head this way. But anyway, I wanted you to see that. I'll keep you posted on that tour, probably in another video. So I'm here at Restaurant La Cabana Punta Mita Fish Taco. And I got some fajitas instead. Fajitas Extremas for 210 pesos. It's about, uh, Ten dollars and fifty cents. Got uh, beers for two bucks. 
Margarita for 10, mojito for five. Oh no, margarita for five, cool. Good looking menu too, octopus, shrimp, meats. Food's great, margaritas are good. Check out this view. That was a hell of a meal for about 15 bucks. Really good view. Now I'm just uh, trying to find some transportation back towards Sayulita. Maybe go to San Pancho. Saw a taxi stand down there. They were charging 1,200 pesos for a ride. I thought that was a little steep. 60 American dollars, that's crazy. So heading back up to the road to see about bus options and maybe less expensive taxi options. Let's see how it goes. Well, I'm in luck. I accidentally left the Uber app open requesting a ride and there's one on the way. So instead of paying 1,200 pesos to get from Punta Mita to San Pancho, I am paying 280 pesos. That's almost a $50 savings. I'll take it. Well, I made it to San Pancho. Quick little Uber ride from Punta Mita for $28. That was a good deal compared to the $60 for the taxi. I'd recommend it. He dropped us off uh, right near the uh, tourist bridge that seems like every vlogger needs to put on their video. I'm going to do the same right here. See? Check it out. All right. Anyway, now I'm down here in the square. I'm going to go down to the beach. And have a good look around. Made it down to the shore. It's a really nice beach. Big, big, big beach. Check it out. by the beach I think it was ten dollars for two hours I'll hang out here on the beach for a bit see the sights this beach here on San Pancho is interesting it has uh, I don't know if this is the bottom of the river or some kind of lake or pond that is very close to the beach There it is. Apparently you can tent camp here, which is also really cool. And there's some strange bamboo structure here. Very cool. So anyway, those uh, chairs over in that direction, that's where I was at earlier. Rented that for, I think it was uh, 320 pesos for the day. $16, which isn't a bad deal. 
I just did a um, couple hours for 10 bucks, so it worked out. Anyway, this is a great beach. Cool little town, too. Heading back in there in a few minutes to check it out. some kind of park area with workout equipment, swings, and possibly a surf park. Whoa. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. Now I'm just wandering around town seeing the sights. Got some really nice looking places here that are a little bit older like this. And some really modern places. I don't have an example right now, but they do exist. Anyway, I think I'll just uh, wander around this town for a bit before heading back to Sayulita. Well, that was a hell of a day. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.